Viji, it's a pleasure to welcome you. Thank you. So you are a startup, but you're actually helping a lot of uh, uh, good enterprise customers to focus on career enhancements and knowledge base of their employees. Yes. So CareerWay is the second company you started, and yes. I'm glad this is, uh, you had a very successful first exit. Yes. So it's a pleasure to welcome you. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. So let's talk about how the idea of career ways came around and how you started this. Sure. I think there were a couple of things that really struck me to get started on this company. One was in my previous company, I had about 120 people across the uh, world, India, Singapore, and US. So it was always a struggle to keep them up to speed because on the one hand, we were competing with the likes of IBMs and Accentures. On the other hand, with a lot of other companies sure. which are from India. So the only way we could succeed is by being on the forefront of technology. So that was always a personal struggle as a business owner. Sure. On the other hand, the technology is evolving so fast. Uh, yesterday it was AI, day before it was <laughs> big data, and today it is all blockchain, as we are listening just now. And then there is AR, VR, and so on. So this trend is not going to change. The requirement for people to continuously update their skills is tremendous. And so the intersection of both these experiences is the genesis of career ways. Great. Um, so you mentioned um, during an earlier discussion that you actually go out to enterprise customers and talk to them and tell them how you can enhance the knowledge base of their um, employees. Right. Uh, share a bit about the process and how you engage with them. Sure. Um, there are a couple of ways we go about it. One is sometimes we go and talk to the technology side of the enterprise and we talk to the CTOs, we talk to the top management and find out if they're facing this as an issue. Um, so you always have to identify the right customer and the right time. Um, so some customers are not really in this uh, department, they don't use so much technology, for them this is not an issue, so pursuing them is not really useful. As a startup you have to realize where to put your focus and where is the most possible chance for you to succeed. So we tend to go towards uh, the tech side first to figure out, you know, is this an issue for them? Is this something that they want to solve right now? And then we get an introduction into the, uh, into the HR side. Uh, but sometimes we get uh, introductions directly into the HR side or the strategy side where they see that this is a huge issue, especially in a place like Bay Area where there's so much uh, competition for talent. Trying to hire from outside is really right. hard. So it's much better if you can provide the opportunity within the company. Not only is it good for you in terms of you know, saving money, it is also good for the morale of your, of your people. You want to help them grow. You want to help them keep up to date and, and make more money. Mm -hmm. um, so we get a lot of good responses when we go to customers. So some of our customers are very large. Some of them we can take their names. <laughs> some of them we cannot due to legal reasons. Sure. Uh, but we've had great success once we've gone in and presented our, our app. Not only is the concept great that we are personalizing all this for them, traditionally learning has been very much a one-size-fits-all, top-down approach. Sure. That works well for HR um, compliance or other kind of compliance things. It doesn't work well for skill development mm -hmm. because if you and I are looking at AI, I might be looking at it from a technical perspective. Sure. I want to learn how to install it, what is the best software, you know, what is the most easy thing for me to use within my context. You might be looking at it from a business perspective. What can I do with this in my company? You know, how can I use this to make my company function better? So in this concept of trying to personalize all of this to help people find the right content, the right learning, and the right skills is what we excel at. Uh, so we've had great success once we've been able to go there. And the fact that our product is very much a new generation product. You know, typically enterprise software tends to be really staid, uh, really difficult to work with. And ours is a very much a forward uh, facing one with really social uh, aspect in mind, a personalization in mind. So we've had really good success yeah. on that front. So there was a good uh, pain point address at the macro level for the enterprise customers. Yeah. I want to flip it to address the, at the micro level, which is the employee user. or the individual and the user. Right. Uh, so two perspectives. One is as a startup, as an entrepreneur, you have to balance address both, balance right. and address both the issues. Right. So coming to this particular pain point, which is the individual, right. How do you address that and how do they then you know, feel enhanced and empowered? Yeah, oh, that's a really good point uh, to bring up because very often when you're selling into enterprises, you're helping them make their 
um, you know, is their supply chain better or something like that. Yeah. But in this case, our we have a dual purpose. On the one hand, we want to help the company, but on the other hand, it's a very personalized product, which means we are trying to help each and every one of those users. Um, once users start using our product, we're getting a lot of uh, great responses from them because finally there is a product that helps them get the experience they're looking for, wow. right? Which they are used to in, in their private lives. If you go to Facebook, what you see on your page is very different from what I see That's on right. my page. If you go to Amazon, the kind of uh, you know things that come up for you are different from me. Sure. Whereas if you go into the enterprise page, everything That's is the right. same. And learning has not been much different. Uh, so when they come into our app, and depending upon the skills they've chosen, uh, where they are standing, which group they're working with, who are their peers, the information, even the first page is different. So they love it. They love the fact Very that nice. they can come in, look at different things, find out what everybody is doing, uh, have that kind of you know community aspect. Um, so we've had really good uh, responses. And that's the day that makes my day. Sure. <laughs> you know, a startup journey is hard. But when you get an email from one of your users, or when you get a survey where they say that, we love this, we love this, we love this, uh, for certain things. Sure. I wouldn't say everything is wonderful, but a lot of them we get you know, seven out of 10, eight out of 10. We're really proud, because Absolutely. that's the day you're showing that you're actually solving a problem yeah. that somebody has. I mean, it's always a learning process for now. Of course, and you have to continuously yeah. adjust. Yeah. 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 And then you're solving a very uh, um, basic fundamental problem for all individuals, including mine and everybody else, is right. through the learning process is so generic. Right. You're actually customizing it to the individual needs. Exactly. Uh, so it's a great, great thing. I think, but I wish you all the best again. Thank, Thank you for coming and sharing much. your thoughts. Thank you so it. much for having me.